Game Master, Half Wave. So, 300 divided by 27. That's in the middle of our range. That uh, equals uh, 11, 100, call it. It's actually closer to 11111, I think, but uh, we'll, we'll go for 11100. We'll divide that by four. Um, and that will give us, gosh, uh, 270, 277, something like that. Um, so we times that by two, and that will give us our half wave. So we need, right, top element equals 277 meters. Okay. Bottom element equals 277 meters. And then we need a coil, which is a choke, which will also equals 2.77 meters all right and then that will obviously go to the radio and that would be our half wave gain master it's also known as a t2lt okay now let's make it see if i got the measurements right see if it will work i may have to um, divide these measurements by an additional 0.93 for the velocity factor. I'm not sure yet. We'll see if whether or not we need to do that. And if we do, then obviously we can cut it. It's easier to cut it down than it is to make it longer. So let's make it to this length first, and then we can start to see whether or not we need to cut back here and here, or whether or not we've actually got it right the first time. Okay, let's go for it. Okay, let's start by measuring out 2.8 meters of uh, 1.5 mil PVC coated multi strand ordinary house cable. Um, We said 2.8, didn't we? 2.8. Okay. There's 2.8 plus a small amount more on our ordinary house cable. Solder that to the inner of a coax. So let's get a strippers.
let's see. Okay. Right, so from the top of the coax, 2.7 meters further on down, 2.8, 2.72, make it one, two, yeah, 2.7, 2.77. 2.72 is 2.72. Let's do it the 108 inch 2.72. That's where the coil starts. Okay. Now Our lovely uh, bottle. So uh, let's uh, put a SO239 line connector on. Uh, let's make this as neat as we can. Bit of gooey line heat shrink. The shroud. So, exactly the same as we did with the uh, 5 8 wave version of the uh, Game Master. This is uh, the half wave version. It's uh, a very simple T2LT antennae. Basically, we have um, 2 meters and 72 centimeters of uh, 1.5 mil multi strand copper cable. OK, 
connected to the center core of the coax and uh, from the bottom of this join back down the coax we've measured um, 2.72 meters or 2 meters 72 centimeters down the coax until we get to the top of our air choke or coil. Um, this is a 16 turn coil uh, which is just slightly over a quarter wave again 2 meters 77 centimeters um, in length coiled on a 66 mil former 16 turns and then terminated on the end with a inline SO239 um, connector so that's it it's as basic as that which we should now put on a DX commander and see how it works So it turns out that I should have um, times that by 0.93, um, which would have given me the, uh, the correct size. Oops, can't. Uh, or thereabouts. Probably more like um, 253, but uh, that's close enough. And it actually ended up being um, 2 meters 47 um, to 2 meters 49. Um, those are the, the that's the the two lengths. So this bit needs to be 249. And this needs to be 249 for it to be resonant at 27 on the nose and you can take um, two centimeters off of these to make it resonant at uh, 500 so there we go it, it, it swings and roundabouts it's um they're all very very close okay oh, well there we go okay so let's find out what it actually ended up being um, where's the center point? Here it is. Two meters 47. Okay. Driven element, two meters 47. Uh, two meters 50, so three centimeters difference. Single take. Straight down to the LFJ. So okay, we can go down to twenty seven. Go to one point five I think at the bottom of the band or thereabouts. Twenty seven. 
Yep, okay. And then we wang it back up again. Absolutely flat at 27,500. So okay for the triple fives. Right up to 28 megahertz. And beyond, totally usable. Okay, obviously you could uh, not cut it as short as I have. Um, I would like to use this in the Muppets more than in the uh, the DX side of things, so it's local, and also into the, the uh, 10 meter band. Um, it's quite it's, it's it's quite sharp. It's not as good as the three the five eighths ways version. Um, but I mean, you know, it's 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 pretty pretty good. You got a meg of bandwidth here, um, which is uh, you know totally usable. Okay, let's uh, see what it's like on the rig. Okay, let's uh, let's see what it's like for uh, SWR across the bands. Just bear with me. This is one of these. Um, what is this? This is a, a CRT SS seven nine hundred which I purchased myself so I could uh, play with this to see what it would be like. So let's have a look at the SWR. Um, okay, so what is that is, hold on, SWR, yeah, the SWR is the lowest one. So it's uh, 1.4. And uh, that's at 26. So let's go up to, 26500. So it's practically not moving. Of course, I can't really trust this SWR meter to be perfect, but uh, it's a good um, indicator. You know, if the radio is happy, the radio is happy, right? No movement at all. That 27185. It's 27.555. Still pretty much no movement. This is actually pretty good. I didn't expect this. 28. Yeah, it's still pretty good. Okay. I'm just wondering if anyone is uh, as far away tonight, mate. What I've built is a, um, a Game Master, but a half wave. And I'm using it at the moment. I'm just wondering what it was like. Roger, Roger. Okay, uh, Aid, hello. Yeah, they're bloody good aerials. There's no two ways about it. Very, very good aerial. Okay, mate, thank you very much. Uh, back to you, Paul.